Hello Pisces, welcome to your first half of November of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For the Pisces reading, I've been guided to the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. So overall message for the collective Pisces during the first half of November of 2023. Oh my goodness. So I almost feel like this has been or was in a Pisces reading previously in October. Uh, but towards the end, now we have it at the very beginning of November. So it could very well be in the first week of November, Pisces, where you come to this awareness that something indeed has exceeded your expectations. And Spirit saying, soar into the excellence of who you now are. For in the thoughts position, you may feel like you need to kind of clean up and organize. And this is because Spirit's saying we need for you to prepare uh, for what is transpiring for you here, that which is coming very soon if it hasn't shown up already. Uh, remember day to day to just enjoy the simple pleasures of life uh, and get excited because uh, the future is about to start. Look at this. In the relationship sector to another or others, we have the Embrace the Future card. It's time to step into and through this doorway uh, towards the future with a very open heart. In the creative aspects position, there's going to be a call to be courageous uh, when it comes to your future. Look at by the second or third week of November, we have many a Pisces who are hop, skipping and jumping into the direction of this future. Feeling very courageous or that is the energy spirit is trying to bring. Remember, you are strong and valiant and courageous. Embrace what is unfolding as you connect with another or others and trust that what is unfolding will exceed your expectations. Oh my. So in the actions position, some Pisces, if you haven't already, throughout the first half of November are recognizing a beautiful new beginning with the starting fresh card. There's this awareness here that a wonderful new beginning is blossoming in your life Pisces. So if you've been kind of worried about money, fearful of uh, how things are going to transpire in the area of money, look at this. In the emotional aspects position, uh, the mind is on the money and the money's on the mind and so are the emotions. Uh, so there's like this awareness that the abundant universe uh, is pouring abundance and money into your life, that you have worked hard and are now cultivating this prosperity. Uh, so just cherish the little steps along the way, the little moments of pause and trust as well that you're going to have the courage to go into the direction of this future beginning, this prosperity. So in the subconscious position, we have looking deeper. Okay, so deep within me, I know that I know that a mad majestic radiance uh, has been there and that now I can open up and share with the world around me. Now I can step into and through uh, the doorway towards my future in a very strong and valiant and courageous way. So day to day we have the revealing of this radiance. It's like somebody, I don't know if you've been thinking about shells lately, pearls within shells. Uh, those are just little signs from spirit that you're going to be seen as this pearl, this beautiful pearl uh, in this shell that maybe has been hidden. And now, of course, in the creative aspects position, uh, there's going to be courage uh, offered from spirit to go into the direction of a future where you are sharing of your light. So in the inner strengths position, Spirit's giving the collective Pisces the strength of a deeper knowing, okay? I know that I know that w this new fresh start, this new beginning uh, is meant to be, okay? Um, so Spirit's actually giving the collective Pisces the strength to awaken this ancient wisdom. Like, I know that I know that this is what I was meant to do. And emotionally, I'm feeling pretty darn good because of this prosperity, right? So prosperity can be money. Prosperity can be, I love what I do and I do what I love day to day. 
So in a three card summary, we have got the making a difference, dwelling in the truth and going with the flow here. So see, in the first week of November for some Pisces, we have my inner light is shining for all to see because I'm making a difference for some in the lives of those around me. I am rising above a difficult circumstance, situation, or past. And now I only see beauty and grace, not only in those around me, but deep within myself. I may have been protecting this wisdom from being shared with others, but now Spirit is nudging me to launch this journey. Some of you may be actually getting together your luggage here, uh, planning a journey here in the first half of November, uh, but Spirit's saying it's time to sail forth into the universe and give birth uh, to uh, a, a dynamic energy, your dynamic energy, and the sharing of it with the world. So see, the past is finally healing, Pisces. My goodness, there are so many Pisces who've gone through a difficult path, uh, and now it's like you're standing in the light of who you are and what you were meant to be, uh, how you can help others, how you can go back and uh, recognize your radiance as opposed to the things that happened to you. Okay, so uh, we do have this st standing firm energy, being uh, noble, brave, and strong. I feel that with this igniting of your courageous energy here, uh, there is a strong message for you, just like many of the collective, that when an opportunity comes and people see you, ask for what you want. You know, I want this to be done on a certain day. I want to be paid this amount. Uh, trust in your intuition, right? That your life has been truly guided to this point in time. And the message from Spirit is to surrender joyously to the ebb and flow of life, okay? Believe in the magic that is abounding in your life at this time and just proceed slowly, okay? Enjoy the little things along the way. This would be a great time to start a journey, journal about what is unfolding as you embark on some form of adventure, as you share who you are with others. So go with the flow. There's just so much here about knowing uh, why you went through what you went through. Uh, you had to go through the past in order to discover a deeper part of yourself. And Spirit's just saying, as you maybe travel for some of you or plan travel in the first half of November, the universe is flowing with you. Okay, so it's like you're cultivating prosperity from previous efforts, joy and happiness. And now Spirit's saying it'll be time to continue to plant additional seeds, projects, ideas. So uh, seeds of grace are being planted in your soul so that you can share uh, yourself with others. I just keep saying, as you step into power, you're going to have the courage to reveal your beautiful radiance. So step into this power boldly and confidently um, because you're actually soar, soaring into joy and peace as these dreams come to manifest. My goodness. So I'm going to confirm and clarify. I really feel drawn to the Tarot of Dreams deck. I feel like someone's been really just uh, working on themselves, praying to spirit. Uh, trying to make new dreams come true. And it's like you're kind of sweeping up uh, the past and are recognizing a deeper part of yourself, looking deeper and recognizing uh, this radiance within you because you can now embrace the future. So yeah, it's a great time to share your skills and your talents and trust that when these things transpire, they are going to uh, lead you towards this energy of excellence. So this is the, uh, if I didn't say, the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. And thank goodness, right off the bat, we have the Magician. So this is confirmation from Spirit that Spirit is walking with you with the Major Arcana, the Magician, to help you to manifest this brand new path where you recognize as well, maybe by uh, the uh, first week of uh, November, that you are indeed uh, going into the direction of the manifestation of something you were expecting, but something that is actually much better because of the major arcana, the magician, and the universe that has stepped in.
So in the thoughts position, we have thoughts of a very caring, loving, giving, older, maybe water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, if this is you, uh, I think this is in general for many Pisces. This is like when you reach the point of the King of Cups energy, you've been there and you've done that and you've gone through the pain and you have risen to a point where you're feeling more emotionally balanced. So really there's just a, a nudge from spirit to trust uh, that uh, it's time to simplify your life uh, and to give thanks to spirit for the little things. Okay, that's a strong message, especially in the thoughts position. Now, in the relationship sector to another or others, we have a situation that involves, I feel, family and or children. Okay, we have maybe what looks like a father figure and a child here. And it could be that you are thinking of a father figure who's caring, loving, and kind, or this is you. Okay, you may be thinking about a masculine who has grown and evolved and now they are ready or you are ready uh, to move forward with an open heart. Okay, so you or someone else uh, is now switching their perspective to embracing this next chapter, coming together with family or friends, uh, coming together with people that you can help. Okay, and Spirit saying, step forth towards others with an open heart or others are going to come towards you um, with that as well. So here they come, right? In the creative aspects position, you have been creating, working on, putting time and effort into three, maybe four different projects and ideas in the creative aspects position of the circle spread. So it could very well be around the third week with the three of wands uh, where you recognize your proverbial ship has come in okay and then there comes this courage i'm ready to hop on this ship i'm ready to travel i'm ready to jump on this horse and go valiantly and courageously into the direction of family and friends with an open heart acknowledging that what i have manifested or what yeah what i've manifested or what i am manifesting uh, is exceeding my expectations okay so in the uh actions position we have the nine of swords so this is uh swords representing sadness worry fear regret heartache and so on this is stuff that keeps you up at night and so that's why spirit's saying it's time to take action to create a fresh start for yourself okay to create a new beginning and to allow uh, the relations, the connections, and the parts of yourself that have awakened uh, in some way to uh, start fresh, okay? We've been talking about this number seven year of 2023, where all the collective's efforts will lead them towards triumph or the opposite. What are you putting your effort into? Because uh, the number uh, eight, uh, year of 2024 is going to be about knowledge and power and advancement and ex exceeding one's expectations. So I feel like you guys are a little bit ahead of the game because Spirit's saying it's time to start fresh and leave behind what's been keeping you up at night. It does not serve you. All right, so emotionally, this is about giving and receiving. The abundant universe is helping to bring uh, the six of coins energy. This is about coming together and giving and receiving abundance here. I feel like you guys who have been working really hard on uh, creating something over the last maybe three, four, five, six years, uh, this prosperity is finally coming in. It's going to like pour into your life and exceed your expectations. Wow. So we have the very popular gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Wands. So remember subconsciously that spirit is guiding you into an exciting new direction where things are going to grow when it comes to what you're passionate about, where things are going to grow when it comes to home, family, and business. So really reflect uh, when this path comes to mind uh, that you have manifested 
uh, as you embrace the future, uh, recognize the, the radiance uh, of who you are is finally being seen. That's why it's like embrace the future because it's time for an exciting new chapter. It's time for your ship to come in. It's time for you to go from the manifestation process to receiving and cultivating this prosperity. So day to day, we have the seven of swords. Thank goodness. This is the energy of I am leaving these worries and concerns behind. I'm leaving troubled waters behind i am going into the direction of greater things because uh, my light is illuminating throughout the world so maybe after six years of uh working towards something um now spirit saying you're going to be seen uh, you have manifested this with Spirit's assistance with the Magician. And eventually here, when your ship comes in, you're going to feel strong and courageous enough to go forth towards the future uh, in courageously. Okay, so in the uh, inner strengths position, uh, for those of you who are kind of like almost at the edge of I'm ready to give up, right? We have the Hermit diagonal to the Magician and the Nine of Swords. So Spirit's saying we're giving you the strength to just ground yourself. Uh, to wait and observe until uh, this opportunity, this awareness comes to light. We're giving you the strength to trust that something deeper is coming from within you. There is a, a wisdom that you have to share. And um, yes, uh, you are manifesting a new beginning that will free you from this, these worries and concerns. So eventually it's just a nudge from spirit, even if it takes till mid-November to uh, step into the direction of this beautiful new beginning that is blossoming in your life. So three card summary for confirmation and clarification. Remember, those of you who are helping others, uh, making a difference in the lives of others, uh, there is going to be this karmic response of you feeling a difference inside yourself. You are rising above the difficulties of the past, and now there's this prosperity and um, radiance uh, surrounding you. So in a three-card summary with the same Tarot of Dreams deck, We've got the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. And I've been seeing these two cards together. So, um, yeah, someone was feeling stuck or trapped in their circumstances. But remember, the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. This is a glass ball. All you have to do is move around, fall between, and be free. So someone is coming towards you quick and unexpectedly. Uh, this could even be like quick and unexpected thoughts are freeing you. Kind words, messages, younger children who are very big hearted at this time. Uh, they could be what's helping to pull you out of this funk. Uh, kind words and messages in general are going to help to free you from this crying over spilt milk, from whatever has been keeping you up at night. Uh, we do have quick and unexpected uh, communication coming from someone who uh, is a leader in some way, someone who's very clear and to the point, someone who's very structured, logical, disciplined, uh, someone who may have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Um, so... Either way, uh, yeah, there could be uh, one or two different projects, ideas, offers, opportunities that show up for you um, because you have applied the Seven of Cups, your creativity and imagination. So, yeah, what are you passionate about most? You may have to make a decision here about which direction you want to go. Uh, but at some point, I do feel like by mid-November, it's important to give yourself that pat on the back with the seven of pentacles and trust that a new passionate and exciting direction and connections and opportunities are offered are opening up to you yeah there's quick and unexpected uh maybe legal paperwork uh yeah regarding home or family could be even in the area of business uh, look deeper at what is transpiring because you're going to be shocked at what this represents. So you guys are headed into the direction of the beautiful Ten of Cups, great emotional fulfillment, and a happily ever after. Yeah, maybe in the past you were just waiting for some form of information about what to do in the area of money, and Spirit's saying, here you go. 
okay? There's going to be this unexpected light at the end of the tunnel where you receive great financial abundance. Again, you may have to make a, a decision between one new beginning and another. You know, which direction, which offer opportunity should I go towards? Because uh, there's going to be offers coming in the area of money for many Pisces. And uh, there's just like this energy of excitement. Okay. Yeah. So see, uh, some were feeling very burdened uh, in the area of home, family, or business. And now this Knight of Cups is finally showing up. Finally, the abundance you've been working towards, praying for, it's on its way. So we have a very spiritual Pisces here, a very uh, motherly, grandmotherly type energy. Uh, but the high priestess is awaiting information regarding uh, someone who's in a leadership position, a passionate masculine, uh, or this could be just you in a fire sign, Sagittarius or Leo. You are uh, planting seeds and are following your intuition uh, before making a concrete decision about this ship coming in. See, um, your efforts are paying off. So you're going from the three of wands now into the direction of the four of wands, closer to mid for some Pisces, mid to end of November. But we've got the popular world card. So your efforts are going to pay off. There's going to be a reason to celebrate a wonderful new beginning. There will be a successful completion to the previous chapters regarding your past. And now you can step into and through this portal towards the fool, the manifestation of an exciting new chapter in your life. So we do have great financial abundance and the collective Pisces now recognizing and building upon their empire. There we have success and victory, attention, recognition, wishes coming true and celebration going away from difficult people, places, circumstances, and now going instead into the direction, not only of abundance, but of emotional ebb and flow. A lot of peace is being offered here. For those of you who've been making a difference again in the lives of others who've been thinking about doing so, now's the time to share your light with the world. For spirits helping you with the magician to manifest your proverbial ship coming in. There will be communication from someone regarding the past, a situation involving children or family, or this is you. But it's all about starting fresh and embracing this next chapter in your life. Uh, there's a deep knowing that is coming within you. Uh, and I think it's just that uh, it's time to give and receive, but in a more concrete way. Okay, so wow, I'm going to uh, close with a message from the uh, Archangel Michael sort of light deck. Closing message, please, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels regarding the circle spread for Pisces in the first half of November of 2023. All right, don't give up on love. So uh, there are some who are, again, uh, going into a direction of greater excitement and abundance and business changes and prosperity. Uh, and then there are those who are single and you've, you're doing well personally, um, but you've been through difficulty in the past when it comes to relationships. Luckily, we have the number nine here. So that represents endings, completions, and transitions to greater accomplishments. And so as you connect with other people in these new directions, if you're single, there's just a really strong message at this time to not give up on love. Now, there could be some Pisces who are growing into the King of Cups energy of emotional maturity, and you are ready to create new beginnings with family. And Spirit saying, if there is a relationship that you cherish that needs to be healed in some way, now is the time. Allow Archangel Michael to clear the way for forgiveness in your life so that love can thrive again, so that you can soar into excellence and happiness and joy. See, the way forward is open, Pisces. They're saying you are right here, and we are trying to lead you into the direction of joy. So, you are not trapped or stuck like we talked about with the Eight of Swords. Possibilities and opportunities abound uh, in this first half of November. Uh, Archangel Michael will guide you towards personal and spiritual freedom, right? Whatever you put upon yourself, 
uh, those worries and concerns are now dissipating. Trust that when it comes to the number one here, there is going to, if there hasn't already been an awareness of what you're passionate about and a brand new beginning. These doorways uh, physically, uh, proverbially are opening up for you uh, by mid-November for some Pisces. And Spirit's saying, this is it. Now's the time to take action. Archangel Michael will be here uh, to help you every step of the way. Even though you cannot see how things are unfolding, you will find that your prayers will be answered. You will find as well that Spirit is protecting your loved ones. So if you've been worried about your children, your family, Spirit's just saying that they are safe. Uh, there is, again, a situation tied to the past, previous difficulties or lessons uh, that no longer serve you with the let it go card. So uh, Archangel Michael saying, allow me to sever your an old energetic connections to the past so that you can now embrace the future because it's time to step up and embrace your life purpose. Some of you know exactly what your life purpose now is to be doing and spirit saying you will find uh, that when the communication comes, right, the opportunity to step through this doorway towards the future, that you were correct, that you indeed are finally radiating uh, that radiance within you. So some of you, you've followed your inner voice and you've guided yourself with spirit's assistance uh, to make wise decisions. And Spirit saying, now's the time to continue to move forward. Now is a time of change and transformation, a time of joyous opportunities. All right. You will rise above the difficulties and the pain of the past, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. Should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or you just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings and they are a one-month, three-month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the fall special which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares and those subscribes but most importantly to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care. And God bless.